Hi, it's Len Cameron from Hero Technical Solutions, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up remote desktop access using Windows 7 or Windows Vista. I'm actually going to demonstrate this on a Windows 7 computer, but it's the same step if you have Vista. So, there are two things we need to do. First, we need to configure the computer, and then we need to configure your router. So I'm going to configure the computer by going to my Start menu, and then going to Computer, and right-clicking going to properties. Once you're on the property screen, then go ahead and look for remote settings on the left hand side of your screen. And when that pops up, you've got some options for remote desktop here. Now remote desktop is disabled by default, so don't allow connections to this computer. We want to change that to allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop. So go ahead and hit that and select that option. Now, if you are an administrator on your own computer, that should be all you need to change. You'll already have remote access. If you need to add additional users, click the Select Users button and choose the users that you also want to have remote access. But by default, if you're an administrator, you should be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, click Apply, and OK. And now my computer is set up for remote desktop access. Now, the other thing I need to do is to set up my router and my network so that incoming remote desktop traffic you know, when I'm trying to connect to my computer from, uh, from outside of my office I want to set it up so that it's going to forward that traffic to this computer that I want remote access to. So I'm going to configure my router and I do that through a web browser and most routers are going to be set up this way. Now the specific steps that I'm going to show you are for a D-Link 604, but you'll get the general idea here, and if you have a D-Link, your steps will be similar, and with other routers as well. Uh, you'll see what I'm doing here, and you may need to consult your router's documentation to find the exact steps for, for your kind of setup. So I'm going to put in the router's IP address here, which I know is 192.168.0.1. If you set up your own router, you probably know that information. If you do not know that, you may need some help from the person who set your router up for you. So I'm going to go ahead and it requires me to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, then there are two things that I need to do here. The first one is that I need to make sure that my computer that I want remote access to always gets the same address assigned to it by the router. Okay, that way I can tell the router to always send that remote desktop traffic to the same address. So on this D-Link, I do that through DHCP and I scroll down here to static DHCP. This allows me to always make sure the same address gets assigned to this computer. Now this computer that I'm on, this is Wolverine, so I'm going to choose that and hit the clone button. And the clone button shoves the right information into these other fields here. It fills in the MAC address, fills in the IP address that I'm using right now, which is one ending in 108, and the computer name's there. And all I have to do is click apply. So what we're doing here is just making sure that this computer always has the same IP address on our network. And most routers will have the ability to let you set that up. Okay, now that that's done, the other part I need to do is to tell my router to send all remote desktop traffic to this computer. So I'm going to go to the Advanced tab, and I'm going to use the Virtual Server feature of my router and I'm going to give this a name. This is just a descriptive name that will help me know what this is. I'm going to call it RDP Wolverine. So I'm setting up RDP and Wolverine's the name of my computer. I'm going to make sure I check off enabled here. This is easy to miss. And then the private IP address is going to be that address that we just set up that this that our com computer will always have. So this is 192.168.0.108 in my case. Of course, you would fill in whatever your computer's uh, IP address is. RDP uses TCP, so we'll leave that. The default port for RDP is 3389, so I'm going to set that up there and put that in for the public port as well. That tells my router to listen on port 3389 and to forward the internet traffic using RDP to 3389 on, on my desktop computer. And I'm going to choose Always because I want this available 24-7 and click apply. Settings are saved. I'll hit continue. 
Okay, so now I've set up my router and my network as well as the computer for RDP access. From here, I just need to get an RDP client installed on my iPad. So I recommend Pocket Cloud Pro uh, version 2.0 from a company called Wise. It's W-Y-S-E. So if you search for that in the App Store on your iPad, you can go ahead, purchase that, download it. That particular client that I like, it sells for $14.99. I've tested a number of them out, and I really like this one, so I highly recommend it. And using that, you will be able to use RDP to access your computer remotely on your iPad and get access to your ACT.